Nothing exposed the APC deceitful agenda than the recession and the collapse of the economy that occurred within a year of taking over power. A true government of change will have actually hit the ground running by mobilizing the entire masses and force, forces of the working people to save the, to save the society and themselves from crisis by holistically tackling corruption, tackling the reign and the control of the super rich, banks and multinationals over the economy and put the interests of the masses to concrete then the overwhelming majority force, which is enshrined in the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. This economic collapse and recession are confirmation of the continuation of the economic policy of the PDP by this government. Even the confusion, dilemma, and cluelessness as a continuation of the method and policies of the past regime, nothing fundamental has changed in any way. We are all witness. Virtually all the ministries are completely moribund. Tell me one ministry that is working. As of today, the APC federal government has not put one block on ground as an infrastructure. Not one. Not one single block. So the APC has three problems. One, lack of trust within them and the Nigerian people. Two, they have a communication problem. When they say this, the president will say another. When the president <laughs> say another, they will say another. And lastly, is the delivery of the promises that they made to the Nigerian people. That has not been delivered. Why the recent call and move to sell the remaining, because they have sold the other ones before. The remaining public asset to privatize interest and sh should be seen as the height of the generation of the Nigerian elite and their foreign masters. If they sell what is remaining as proposed to finance the budget of 2016. The question I want to ask you is that, when it has finished, what would they sell to finance the budget of 2017? Yes. That Nigerian ruling elite and their imperialist master cannot move this society forward after 56 years of so-called independence. Confirm that if given 56 years, nothing will be done. It is therefore clear that the Nigerian masses must go politically, organize, and take political power. No more grandstanding, no more debates of all of Let's work together to take political power.